Hi everyone, my name is Neil Trevitt and I run the mobile content developer uh, relations team at NVIDIA and I'm going to show you the development system for the new Tegra APX 2600. One of the key things we've announced here at Mobile World Congress is uh, support for the Android operating system uh, in addition to our support for Windows Mobile and Windows CE and you can see that our development system is actually a dual boot device. We can select uh, which operating system uh, that we want to run at any time. So right now I'm going to boot up Windows CE. So this is a Windows CE device and I'm going to show a, um, a prototype 3D user interface application that we have developed uh, that runs on Windows CE. Uh, this is using OpenGL ES2 to create a complete and uh, intuitive and useful uh, user interface uh, experience. So you can see this device has a capacitive touch screen. It's uh, very smooth. And each of these panes in the spinner here is a separate process. So you can actually do multiple things at the same time. You might have a mobile uh, phone that's uh, doing your uh, GPS navigation and your telephone dialing and we have some applications here to show uh, this parallel um, process capability. So here's one example application. Uh, it's a photo browser. Uh, we have multiple folders here. This is a folder full of photos. Uh, we're using the power of the 3D GPU uh, inside the Tegra APX2600 to quickly browse through a whole file full of um, photos. We can go into a particular photo. We can set off a slideshow. Uh, this device actually has an HDMI connector, so we could be projecting our photos up onto a uh, high-definition TV. And if a phone call comes in or we want to do something else on a device, we can put the application that's currently running into the user interface and go and do something else without um, uh, having to quit that particular application. Here's another application that we can run. It's a high-definition video player. Uh, so this is a 720p uh, video that's being hardware decoded with uh, OpenMax IL. Um, this is uh, uh, an NVIDIA uh, uh, video and we can watch that. Again, we could be projecting this over HDMI onto your big screen TV. Uh, and if something else happens, if I'm leading a really busy life and something else happens, I can put that into the user interface and go and do something else. And just to be uh, really uh, impressive, we can actually bring up another application and show uh, another video. So now we can have the capability of decoding multiple videos simultaneously on uh, a single device. Uh, let's play this video here. This is another 720p video. Uh, we can put that into the user interface. So you can really see this device is capable even though uh, we're running multiple videos, a photo browser, the user interface is still highly interactive and uh, we can even superimpose uh, a widget layer over the top so that all your weather and stock price widgets uh, can work, you will turn it off and your um, videos are still running. So we really believe that these devices are not just phones anymore. They're true computers capable of doing uh, multiple things in parallel.